Welcome to the iGOM portal tutorial. This video explains how to conduct an iGOM gap analysis within the IATA operational portal platform, currently referred to as the iGOM portal. In this video, we will explain how to create a gap analysis in the portal and explore the core functionalities of the gap analysis section and gap analysis management. The gap analysis section is the brain behind the operational portal. It serves as a benchmarking tool, allowing companies to benchmark or perform a gap analysis of their own company procedures with those defined in IGO. It allows companies to self-assess their own procedures and identify procedures which are in conformance variation out of scope from those in IGO. The gap analysis functionalities will be covered in two tutorial videos. Initiating a new gap analysis, which will be covered in this video. Cloning reusing an existing published gap analysis and continuing a gap analysis in draft will be covered in video number two. Let's begin with the new file wizard which enables the IGOM admin to create a new company gap analysis for the first time. To access the wizard, go ahead and name your gap analysis in the File Name section. When accessing the wizard, you'll see the entire IGOM Portal Gap Analysis section. To begin filling in the gap analysis, the Document section must be completed first. Click on the Add Document button to add a new document to the list. Fill in the mandatory information for each document added and click on Save. If you need to edit or delete an existing document, use the Edit or Delete function. The Gap Analysis page is divided into several key sections. On the left, you'll find a sidebar menu that lists IGOM chapters and subchapters. You can easily collapse or expand this menu by clicking the IATA logo at the top of the sidebar. By default, the Gap Analysis page displays IGOM Chapter 1, Passenger Handling Procedures. To start the Gap Analysis, you'll need to identify the fillable sections. These fields are exclusively available for subchapters of the IGOM that contain procedures. For example, the Expanded view reveals that Section 1.1.1.1 is fillable whereas its parent sections 1.1.1 and 1.1 are not. In other words, the fillable sections are those without the collapsible arrow icon next to the title. Click on the fillable sections of the IGOM to record the outcome of your assessment, which is called mapping. You can select conformity, variation, or out of scope. To learn how to assess alignment of your procedures with IGOM, Review the IGOM Gap Analysis Guidance. If you select Conformity Mapping, you are required to select the relevant document name from the drop-down menu in the User Provision field, which includes all documents previously loaded into the Document section. Add the chapter or subchapter number from the company's IGOM in Subreference field. In case you select Variation, you are required to Select the relevant document name from the drop-down menu in the User Provision field. Add the number or other procedures identifier in the Subreference field. Write the description in the Variation Description box to include details on how your procedures differ from the IGOM. In case you select Out of Scope, write in the comments box that you do not perform this function or do not offer this service. Once all mandatory fields have been completed, click on Save to progress. If there are multiple document references for an IGOM procedure, simply click on Add Reference. Fill in the Procedure User Provision, Subreference, and Mapping and save again. The system will then automatically categorize these references based on your conformity, variation, or out of scope. Each category is assigned a unique color code for easy identification. For more information, visit IATA OPS Portal User Guide for IGOM Section 4.7. Contact us at igom at iata.org.